Now, inspecting the Sapiko Council screening and family planning. Uh, But the deputy governor is going to start inspecting the uh, Matinte block, the Mtebili Matinte block. But due to already been done. Where is the deputy governor? Governor. Right now, the deputy governor, together with the Honorable yes, Minister, are going to cut the ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the ribbon is being cut. One, two, three. Let me agree You know, Bank of Uganda is spending a lot of money printing currency. You know, this is not what we use for paying uh, for you know, transactions. We spend a lot of money printing that. But at the same time, we are encouraging the use of mobile money. So we believe that if everybody used mobile money, not and not currency notes. Say for example, if I send you mobile money on your Airtel, you don't rush to cash it out, right? You try to pay someone if you are going to buy my token. Try to ask him or her, do you have mobile money in account? If they say yes, then you pay them using mobile money, you transfer that money to them, so that we minimize the use of cash, isn't it? Now, if we minimize the use of cash, we will spend less on printing money. Then that means that Bank of Uganda will, will have saved some, some money. And I'll tell you, we'll have more of these facilities. We can see how we can buy more ambulances for the centers. So the deal is, the deal is when you get mobile money, don't rush to cash it out. Try to see how you make payments, transfers. You see the same thing. Don't break out of the what? Your wallets. It will reduce our cost of work for printing currency. And then we can really try to help the community as much as possible. Is that clear? Yes. Thank you very much. So, let me also add that um, infant mortality, we have also reduced it significantly. And because we have put good programs like immunization, because of polio. But now, because of good programs like immunization, we are now seeing our children survive beyond five years. Not only children, but also we are seeing our life expectancy move from 48 years in 1991 to now 63 years for women and 62 years for Mm. has been very high. So even the infant mortality rate comes down to trickle to understand that even the kids were having over 100 per month, we're going down to even, you know, half to 50. So it is it is an achievement to make sure that you can achieve the SDG 3 by 2030, which is of course in the agenda of SDG 3 being the well-being and health. You find that we have to trickle down to that measure. It's an indicator as a country and we really appreciate various partners like uh, Bank of Uganda, like 
like the government of Uganda, even the district local, local leadership has really played a very big, big, big important role in this. So for us as uh, as the youth involved in all kind of these arrangements, we really, really appreciate and we also need to make sure that we see how this Agenda 2030 can be achieved.